Every day we recharge our phones, but we forget to recharge ourselves. Let's just say we slept well the night before, which means we start our day with a 100% charge. When we wake up in the morning, we roll over and 80% of us check our smartphones before we brush our teeth. We scroll through social media, we browse through emails. That takes away 10% of our energy. Let's say we now have 90% charge left. We then commute to work. We spend our day in the office, in meetings, interacting with colleagues, finishing off projects and assignments. We now have 40% charge left. On the way home, we commute through traffic or on the train, and that takes away another, let's say 10%. We now have 30% charge left. We come home and switch on Netflix, talk to someone about what our day was like, and sometimes we lose another 10%. We now have 20% charge left. At 20% on our phones, usually the charge bar goes red. We get an alert. We get a message that tells us that we only have 20% battery left. The question is, do we notice when our charge is at 20% or 10%? There are always signs from our bodies, our brains, our minds. But are we tuned in? One of the best things we can do to recharge is to exercise. The hardest part of any workout is actually the 15 minutes leading up to it. We come up with 15 reasons why we don't want to sweat and we change our mind 15 different times. CNN reports that when you work out, your brain creates more serotonin, which sends messages to your nervous system of happiness and well-being. Working out for 30 to 40 minutes every day can recharge our battery by 20%. Meditation is an incredible way to recharge our batteries. Exactly what the gym does for the body, meditation can do for the mind. Meditation gives us downtime, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Meditation also directly impacts your entire nervous system by reducing your body's productions of stress-related chemicals such as cortisol. Meditation is a great way to recharge and can take you back up 20%. We've all heard about incredible morning routines, but the one thing that can make a huge difference to your recharge is your evening routine. 35% of us are not getting the recommended seven hours of sleep per night. Remember, every body and mind is different. Make sure you find the amount of time you need to get that serious battery recharge. And the 75-year study by Harvard found that beyond anything, the real sense check for happiness and meaning in life was relationships, connections, interactions with depth that are fulfilling and full of joy. Making time for deep, meaningful interactions every day can give the recharge our battery seriously needs. What if we've recharged ourselves as much as we recharge our phones. Because if we don't, we'll end up like one of our phones in the bottom of some drawer in our home.